Well, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenny, and as you can see behind me, folks, very sunny and expecting probably record-breaking temps this afternoon. But that won't keep us from bringing to you the Word of God. I want to give you a report. My wife is back in the hospital. Uh, yes, she's been in the hospital now for a couple of days and having some issues that I think I have mentioned before. But uh, I appreciate your prayer. Uh, I've got to go next week and uh, let the doctor know uh, exactly what my... Uh, options or what I'm going to do regarding uh, this uh, surgery that I am supposed to have. Uh, just keep us in your prayers. Would you do that? I certainly would appreciate it. I want to read now from uh, Luke's Gospel. <clears throat> I have to tell you, I, I feel okay. I feel great. I really do. And just keep my wife in your prayers. I certainly would appreciate it. Read uh, Luke chapter 6. Let me start with the, uh, the 45th verse. And the scripture says, A good man, notice this, A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. Have you ever thought about that? From the heart. You know, let's go on. And an evil man. Notice there's good and bad and evil in just about everything. An evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. It's not possible for something good to come out of that, right? For of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. Think about that. Think about that. You know, it used to be years and years ago that they would say, I've heard it said, that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Have you ever heard that phrase before? The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. But I want to say to you that over the years that I've been on YouTube, I want you to understand the way that I speak to you is from my heart. The way that I express myself and the way that I conduct myself and my attitude and my motivation and my desire is com coming completely from my heart. I speak from the heart. And the way that God, I believe, the way that he speaks to us is through and by the heart, your heart. Now, there are many people that believe that uh, finding God is a great journey. They think that they have to go on some kind of religious expedition or something like that. And go through all kinds of ceremonies and rituals and all kinds of things like that. And a special, special life journey in order to find God. But let me give you a pointer here and, and direct you that in many cases, many people don't understand. That you don't find God that way. You just, you don't really, you, you just can't. I mean, <laughs> you may disagree with that, but I'm going to say to you that God can, you can find God when you give him your heart. Have you ever thought about that? When you give him your heart. And I'm talking about now before you come to God. Now keep this in mind. You are motivated on the inside because the Bible plainly tells us here that a good man out of the good treasure of his heart, what will follow? Good things, good things, good things. But just the, on the opposite side of that, an evil man or an evil person, 
He's going to bring forth evil things. And where did they come from? From his heart. From his heart. That's his nature. That's his very being. That's at the core of his very being. It's impossible for it to be contrary or otherwise. But God speaks to the heart through his word. Let me say this to you. Don't ever, ever try to turn over a new leaf or to try to change yourself on your own. You need to have heart surgery. What in the world are you talking about, Kenny? Let me explain this to you. When God comes into your life, he comes in through and by the Spirit into your heart. And he turns things around. He turns things around. He can take a man that's vile. I'm talking about evil and very corrupt and, and has a satanic nature. He can take a man like that and turn him around and make him as gentle as a kitten. If that man will just yield himself and give himself over to the Spirit of God and let God do heart surgery, he can transform a man that's vile, a murderer, a raper, a child molester, a liar, a thief, a robber. He can take someone like that and transform them if they will just yield to the Spirit of God. He can transform their heart into something that will be glorious and beautiful and a transformation from the inside out. That's how it works. A transformation through and by heart surgery. The Bible says... Uh, for with the heart man, for with the heart, yes, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the heart, mouth confession is made unto salvation. When you give your heart to God, now let me explain this to you. God speaks to your heart through his word. And all you've got to do at that point, you've got two choices. You can accept it, believe it, and receive it, or you can reject it, disallow it, and you won't receive anything, and you'll remain the same as you are currently right now. You'll still be lost. I could go on and on about this, but i got to make this as a point. Your evil heart, if you are lost without God will never, and this is it, the point, will never, never know redemption until you truly surrender and give your heart to God and let him totally change you from the inside out. And I'm going to tell you something. When you give your life to God, everything about you is going to change. Everything, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you act, the way you sound, the way you, everything about you is going to be changed. It'll change, it'll change, it'll change. And if there's never been a change in you and you say that you're a Christian, if there's never been any heart surgery with you, if you've never changed, if you've never given your heart to God, then you're the same. You've not been converted. You've never been born again. Jesus said you must be born again. And except a man be born again, he shall in no case enter into the kingdom of God. It's a spiritual thing, but it's not that hard. It's not hard. Many people, they really struggle with this. And they're saying, oh my God, I don't know how to handle this. I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to accept. I'm not trying to make this hard to you. I'm trying to tell you that God can take you no matter how vile you are, no matter how good you are. Listen, there's tons of good old boys and good guys, good ladies, good women. But that's great. That's great. They're just good people. They're good people. They're good American citizens. But in many cases... They have never been born again, never been saved. I'm going to tell you something. There's a difference between a child of God and being just a regular citizen. 
And I'm only talking about the new birth here, the new birth, the conversion. They've been converted. They've been born again from the heart. They've been born by the Spirit of God. They're a new creature in Christ Jesus. They are a Christian. They are saved. That's the only difference between the average man and a Christian. The Christian's just converted. He's Christ-like. He's Christ-like. When you get saved, let me tell you something. All of that vulgar stuff that's coming out of your mouth, it'll stop. All of those lies, all of those things that you did, all of those things that you've done in the past, it stops. It stops. Let me tell you, the heart right here is changed. A changed heart is a man that doesn't do all of that stuff anymore. The things that you used to do, you don't do them anymore. You don't have no desire to do those things anymore. You give it all up. You give it all up. Somebody said, oh, I can't give it up. I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. If you get saved, you will. If you get saved, you will stop it. I said you will stop it. The heart no longer will be vile and evil and corrupt. It'll be transformed and you'll be a child of God. I could go on and on and on and on and on about this. Let, heart, let God perform heart surgery on you. You need to give your heart to God. <laughs> give your heart to God. Let him perform heart surgery on you. I had heart surgery, oh my God, almost 50 years ago. I had heart surgery. I'm talking about God operated on me. When I gave my heart to God, mm -hmm, I had heart surgery. Transformation. I don't have no desire to just, oh my God, become a criminal, looking like one, acting like one. No, 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 no. A Christian is Christ-like. Everything comes from his heart. It comes from his heart. I mean, what he does, what he says, what he speaks, what he means, it comes from the heart. I'm just motivated to tell you like it is, speak it like it is from the heart. God has changed my heart when I got saved. He changed my heart. He does heart surgery. That's it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you don't know Christ, give him your heart today. Give him your heart. Let him perform surgery on you. And you won't be the same. You never will be the same. You'll be a child of God. You'll be saved. You'll be transformed from darkness to light. I could go on and on and on, but praise the Lord. Give him your heart today. Would you do that? Just give him your heart today. Listen, if you like this, if you like this and you're a new, new, new viewer, just hit that like button and give your heart to Christ. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And then, of course, give your heart to God. Give your heart to God. God bless you.